Hello friends, welcome to a new lecture today. Uh, I would like to discuss about the uh, Cochard's artery forceps. So, how are you going to identify this Cochard's artery forceps? There are many ways to identify. One, it has a lock, that is one thing. And then second thing, it has horizontal serrations to the blades. To the blades, if you see, it has horizontal serrations. And at the tip of the blade, you will have this tooth. At the tip of the plate, you will have to this tooth. I will again show this in the next page. It is something like this. At the tip of the, see, it has a lock and then it has two blades. And for the blade, you will have horizontal serrations. And at the tip, you will have a tooth. Okay. So, this is a Kocher's forceps. So, in the Kocher's forceps, Kocher's artery forceps, this is mainly used for holding the arteries. What is the use? If you see the serrations of this Kocher's forceps are horizontal right so they are horizontal if you see if it holds if we hold the blood vessel with the help of this coacher's forceps the uh, serrations which are present they are parallel to the blood vessels or uh, parallel to the axis of blood vessels as a result it will not allow complete um, obstruction of blood supply it just partially obstructs the occludes the blood vessels it partially occludes the blood vessels so as a result it can be used for hemostasis Okay, but it only partially occludes the blood supply. Now, what are the uses of this uh, forceps? Uh, Coacher's tissue holding forceps. So, it is used in obstetrics. If you see, it is used to hold, clamp the umbilical canal uh, for better grip and effective crushing effect. So, it is used to clamp the umbilical cord for better grip and effective crushing effect. Uh, it is used to rupture. Uh, of membranes in induction of labor or augmentation of labor in gynecology it is used as a clamp for hysterectomy operation this is about the coacher's forceps the main thing is all the uses you'll have to anyway remember but rem uh, try to identify the uh, forceps so we it has a lock it has horizontal sedations in the plate and also it has a tooth these three are the main features of coacher's forceps so thank you for watching my lecture